Hey guys, welcome back to The Big Build. Over 16 build episodes, we're making this. Let's extend our bridge. Well, let's get that, let's connect it up to something at least. This side's a little easier than the other one. We can make this as long as we want it. Except, of course, I decided to make it really difficult for myself. There we go, some track. Nice and easy. It's now floating. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? The problem is, if you put it into the ground, then it disappears at the top. So it requires a few more spline points to put it right. Not just on the track though, but on the actual embankment itself. You can see by the top, we have that sort of prob little problem where the connections are. They'll be fixed, of course. Good camera work there. I really couldn't work out what what was going wrong. I see I can ruin things about and There we go, I finally got all of the right one I think. Right, we can now actually put some uh, scenery in. It's like a glove, doesn't it? It's neat, like I actually uh, made it like that. I think we double this, we do, there you go. Kind of fits. It's just the wrong colour. I don't think we're going to use it. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think we use it at all. In fact, I know we don't use it there. Cause there's going to be tracks there. There will be nothing there soon. So. But, you know, if you don't try these things, you'll never know. Clear everything out. And, of course, as soon as I move things... Once again, lock them down. It kind of looks fine. It's not great, but it looks fine. I think the wooden one goes in there, actually. Not this one, no. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like that. Maybe it does go in there. I think it does. Maybe I'll knock it out later. I, I can't remember. Right, we're going to make a dock. So, you can see the water extended to the rack there. The entrance will be the width of this bridge again. Extend that to there, brilliant, yep. Cut this into pieces, we've got the right height, that's it. Another spine point in there, cut that into two, we've got lots of pieces here. Now once we've done this, we'll put more tracks along here. 
But we do have to get this done first. Otherwise, tracks don't go anywhere. Now, I could have set these all exactly to the same height, but I don't think it would have been, and it's a bit boring. So, little differences in heights. I think it's fine. Now, we'll probably, we, well, in fact, I know we have to, we put this in, then I think this boat needs to park in there. And it's not long enough. It's a pointless bit of uh, water in there. You can't park a boat, otherwise you can't get out. So I put it there, it doesn't work, does it? No. So you move it back a bit more. It's easy enough done, we just add some more water in. It's not, you know, slow it down, paint it a bit. There's enough space for that track to actually turn around as well. That bit of road probably has to come out. In fact, 100% does. There's no way that track can get around that corner there. Everything out of the way. Yep. So how do we do it? Well, let's get the track there first. That's it, yeah. See what we actually need how much space we need. And let's build the uh, the road, you know, based on what we need. We have to probably extend it. Well, we do extend it a little bit. You can see from there, the heights are slightly different. Let's cut that down a bit. That's it. Now, if we pull that back a bit, you can raise it back up a little bit more. That's it. Yeah, yeah perfect. They will eventually go in. And I think once you got the buildings there as well, you don't notice half of this. But that needs to be moved. Yeah, that's it. And that allows us to do that, and it does finish it off. And it goes, goes straight back in there again. one arch I think that was last episode the episode before I said one arch will be for the train one will be for the cars and once done actually yeah, vehicles will be able to get behind there as well if you notice there's behind the junction there, should, there will be a way in to behind those buildings for deliveries and things as well Something like that. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, actually, my well, views. I've completely forgotten. But we move that right to the front or to the right where the path is. Come yeah, on, well, you'll come up. You will come up.
and then we need to put the walls in. Very simple. You'll notice I don't put it quite to the edge. That means it allows me to get the height and it doesn't mess up anything else. It doesn't get caught with any of the others. And then I pull it in. Right, we need to take the boat out and then we can pull this one across. Uh, so it raises it slightly. Then it goes. We use this a lot. I think these warehouses here are probably the most detailed ones I've found in, the, in this style. Um, I do find some others, but they're not quite as detailed, so we use them in the background a little bit more. Where well, we're not going to go. Now it's just got to find the right bricks to put up on it, really. A bit too clean, these ones, don't you think? And that sort of matches the colour, certainly matches the colour. Bit of mould here and there, doesn't hurt. And later on we'll cover that up also with some hedges, so uh, it will you know, look quite natural in the end. I think we have a tree or two there as well. Well, that's it for another one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding-dong bell button, it even tells you when I put more stuff on. Hey, I remembered it all. Cheers, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.